In the shadow of war and hunger, the world searched for hope. From the 1940s, a quiet revolution began, not in politics or machines, but in the soil itself. Asia, Africa, and Latin America faced devastating famines. Populations grew faster than food, and fear of global starvation loomed over humanity. In Mexico, agronomist Norman Borlaug began experimenting with high-yield wheat. His vision was simple, feed the world through science. Borlaug's success spread from Mexico to India, Pakistan, and beyond. Trains carried not just grain, but a dream of abundance. In the 1960s, India faced famine, but new wheat and rice varieties, irrigation and fertilizers turned despair into harvest. Green replaced brown. By the early 1970s, grain output doubled. Once hungry nations began to feed themselves, the Green Revolution had taken root. The revolution wasn't just in crops, it was in chemistry, genetics, and global cooperation. Human hands and science worked together for life. But progress came with price. Small farmers often couldn't afford machines or fertilizers. The gap between rich and poor fields widened. Heavy irrigation drained rivers. Fertilizers poisoned soil. The earth, once revived, began to feel the burden of human success. Was it salvation or imbalance? The world argued. Can technology save us without costing the planet? Despite the challenges, the Green Revolution taught humanity the power of innovation, that hunger could be fought with knowledge. Today, a new revolution begins. Sustainable farming, renewable energy, and respect for Earth's limits. The seed of hope still grows.